Hello everybody, um, I'm going to paint a beautiful picture of Ganesha and I'm going to do this painting in acrylic. I'm going to use the acrylic paints for this uh, painting and this picture is really beautiful and and the best thing is it needs really very limited paint colors uh to finish the picture and still is going to be very beautiful so i'm going to show you what all colors that we are going to use for the picture so this is uh this is brilliant yellow and i'm going to use cadmium red it's medium medium hue and we could we will use some white i'm using titanium white for that we would use some black and to shade in the eyes we need some shades of brown so i'm using burnt sienna and um raw sienna and to make it a little dark i'm going to use burnt umber so that's that's a limited paint shades that we are going to use and if you think you don't if you if you think that you don't have all the shades of brown even one shade will do it all you just need to add a little bit of white and yellow to make it uh, light and dark so let's get started so i'm going to begin over the the face so i have taken yellow and red paint and the brush that i'm using i'm using a half inch uh, brush because my painting is not very big it's very small i'm going i'm using an i'm using an um eight by ten canvas and i already put the gesso on the base i, I have already prepared the canvas and i have draw a basic sketch of the picture that we are going to paint if you think it is hard for you to sketch the this picture uh you can you can send me an email or you can message me uh, your email address i will send you the 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 print of that so that you can trace it and you can make it so i'm going to start if you are very new to the acrylic paint you you should know that you don't need to add a lot of water when you're painting you just you just use the paint directly and one very good thing about the acrylic paint is that it really dries very fast if you are an impatient painter then then it is for you because you don't need to wait for it to dry like an oil paint and watercolor you really need to wait until the first layer is dried completely to go over i love this medium because that gives you a lot of possibilities to experiment and the, the, the colors are very bright I have been thinking to paint um, uh, to make a painting tutorial for a very long time 
and I always used to think that which picture should I pick which age group should I address to first and as I'm from India and we pray to Lord Ganesha to start any new thing and right now the festival is also going on and that's Ganesha's festival so I thought why not Ganesha's painting so here you go So you need to put nice shades all over. So you can see near uh, the eye, I'm making it a little brighter. I'm using more red, so it's more orangish near that, but near the trunk. It is, it is going to be lighter. Right now, till now, I use only two colors and that is orange and uh, red, oh, sorry, yellow and red. And also when you just want to start a new painting or, or anything then you you always get confused because there are so many paints available in the market nowadays so many brands available so many options to pick from and Sometimes we end up buying very cheap um, paints just to think that we will just maybe use once or twice and, and that's all because we're just gonna try our hands in there in, in the painting or anything, right? But if you buy very cheap paints, then you will end up in getting frustrated because the cheap paints, they don't give you the effects that you really lo are looking for. So, and also if you, you buy very cheap paints, these are very thin, very liquidy, and it takes a lot of time to dry. I, I like this uh, Michael's brand. I'm not a... Uh, <clears throat> I'm not uh, uh, advertising anyone, but Artist Loft is a good brand. I use a lot of this paint for my uh, art classes because they are first thing very nice like very good uh, colors the pigments are very nice the colors come natural and the second thing they dry really fast and one thing you have noticed that i i used 
I sketch my picture with red color. So I basically use my uh, watercolor pencil to sketch because when you use normal pencil then it is really hard you need to put a lot of layers to cover the pencil marks but if you use that uh, watercolor pencils then they will just get dissolved with the paint while you paint the picture so you can see i i did i'm mainly taking the yellow because that's my base color and i'm adding a little bit of red on the top to give a shade of orange and one very important thing is that you should not put too dark shades because when the acrylic paints dry they usually look even darker so it is always good it is always a good idea to use lighter shades As you see, it is getting dried really quick. So you have to really work on the painting real fast. Okay, so you, you can take a, just a tiny bit of water just to activate your color and and also if you if you want you can buy the color activator the 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 gel that goes really good with this because they the gel the acrylic gel they keep the paint moist and moist and then you can you can do more of the blending It's hot here, even though I'm not running my fan or AC, it's still drying really fast. So I like when I blend my pins on the paint painting on the canvas. That gives you variety of shades but if you will paint in your, if you mix your paint in the palette and apply on the painting then it it, it will give you only that shade that you really need so it's always good that you mix on the picture so and also i always advise my students do not pour a lot of paint In the palette because you might end up wasting that because there's no way you can put that back inside the bottle or the tube and as, as you know it gets dried very fast 
so it will be a waste if you don't use them all I'm applying that red near the turban So as you can see, I did not change my brush. So good thing about the flat brush is that because it has a lot, tiny edges, you can use that for small area. You just need to go sideways. If you watch my video and you feel anything confusing, you can send me a message. You can email me and I'll, I'll try my best to reply to that. I'm going to make that, that area really bright a little later. And it is always a good idea to go layer by layer instead of just going and putting the paint there because layering is very important in in any of the painting that you do i'm taking a little bit of water very tiny bit i'm not dipping my brush completely i'm just taking a little bit of water just to make my paint a little wet so I can spread it better and easily. making this area a little brighter if your paint is too wet uh, or if you'll take a lot of water in your brush then instead of applying the paint it will start washing off the paint so that's very important that you don't need to I'll put a lot of water on the paint and in the paint you don't need to mix a lot of water in the paintbrush This is my first tutorial video. I made a couple of more, but I made it for my knees. She's a small girl. It's a baby video, the kids video. making this area a little more bright blending is very important in your paint if 
even though I'm just I, I just covered the whole face but still this is just the layer I'm going to come back here to make a little bit more better because I need my first layer to get really even though it is dried but I, I really want to get it very dried <clears throat> so that I can color it I can add another layer nicely because right now it's gonna it's it started to pick my paint. So I started again from the side. with the yellow and just bring some yellow from the side you can see now you can you can see that it is nicely blending in now I'm applying more color there. I'm putting a little bit yellow on the side. That's good. looks good now I'm putting a little bit of orange under the trunk and I'm going to blend that in I took a little bit of yellow so it will be nicely blend That looks good. Okay, I'm going to apply a little brighter shade on the front of the trunk here. I took a little bit more water and wiping it off. That looks good. That's a nice shade on the front. And on the back, I'm going to put it lightly. So I'm just adding more yellow and very little bit of
I need to fix this barn a little bit. Nice, it's, it blended in so nice. And I'm giving it a nice blend on the top too. Okay, that looks good. Now the whole face is nicely blended in and looks good. That's a nice shadow of the trunk. Make it look a little elevated here and that looks good. I think I need to fix a little bit here on the trunk because it's not looking, looking blended properly. So. I just took a little bit of yellow and orange and here you go. Fabulous, very nice. That's the beauty. They look, they look really pretty. The, the acrylic colors look so appealing. Very bright, very beautiful. Okay. My look color looks good. Okay, so now I'm going to make a little more brighter near the turbine, putting the tilak part of Ganesha and putting some bright tilak on the forehead. People always ask me like why your painting have so much depth in there when I make the nature painting. So that's the thing if you add a lot of layer and you have to keep every shade in mind that really gives a very good impact. It really make it look the you can feel the depth there. Again, if you think there is any confusion, you can email me or message me and I will try my best to reply everything. And one more thing, the brushes are really very important. It's, it, if you want to paint just one painting, Or more you should always have very good collection of brush it's not you do that you need to buy a very expensive one but don't buy the very cheap one because again you will end up being frustrated for not getting the right strokes or right shades. It will be hard for you to blend the things. I'm just adding a little bit more orange on the bottom of the eye. So again, I just took yellow and red I didn't see a lot of sheets of orange is there in my
picture now. Okay, that looks that looks really good. I'm just giving you this yellow shade near the trunk. There you go. Fabulous. It is always very important to blend your stuff. If it is not blended properly, you have to. And then you can go ahead. Small things give a big value to your picture. Okay, so I think I'm done with the face and that looks pretty much very good. And now I'm going to move on my turban. For the turban again, I'm going to use the same um, cadmium red, medium hue, and I'm going to use very tiny bit of burnt sienna to make it look a little brighter so i'm just mixing the red shade and burnt sienna together on the plate and I'm going to apply it on the turban. Oh, that's a pretty shade. So the colors, some of the colors are really transparent in nature. So you really need to put another layer of that but let that dry i'm going to come back there again okay so one thing i would like to tell you that every time i was doing i'm trying to make my sides with this uh, matching with this the front okay at the same time because when you're done with the front paint front of the painting and come back you you will have hard time matching the side color with the front so again picking up the color so i'm not putting another shade here instead i'm going to take i'm going to paint the other part so i'm not covering the whole partition so that I know where I have to put the, the outlining later. I'm not covering it all so you can see my white white dots here. And it is very important that you follow the stroke, the direction of the paint where you have to paint because that gives a lot of value to your painting. So I'm not using the aisle right now. I'm just using my table to paint it because I believe I could record better in this way. So I'm not paying much attention on the side because the outer part here is going to be all black and I can fix my edges later. 
so I'm not paying too much. I'm not worried too much about my edges right now. And here I'm going to go this way. So art is a therapy. People sometimes ask me how much time you take for finishing on one painting. I really go slow on my paintings. I mean, I don't rush on my paintings. Because if you rush, it will show in your painting that you really rushed for it. If you do it really nicely, calmly, and pick with patience, it will show it in your painting. So you can see it's my first layer. I'm going to put another layer. So I'm putting just red first. So the next layer, only red, the cadmium red that I was telling you about. And I'm taking the brown, I'm just putting the, the brown sienna just here and there just to make some shades in the fabric in the, the tarpon like that that looks good and the same on the other one same on the top I'm putting the same color here. Let's see if we can finish it without taking any more color in my plate. And one more on this guy here. If you lay just one color in any place, that makes it look just a flat surface. But when you add more colors, more shades, they're really good, very nice look. I'm going to fix the edges a little bit. I'm just going, I just washed my brush. I'm just blending in. I brushed my, I washed my brush and I wiped it and I'm just, I'm just blending the edges, making it neat just with my brush just like that so over the eye i'm going to add a little bit a line a curved line on the top here You can see I just put roughly a line there. I 
again wash my brush i wiped it i'm just making it neat look neat by cleaning up the area on the side that's the easy way you can make your line look neat looks like a extra bright i'm going to go over with the yellow so it will not look very bright that looks good very nice This area I'm making it a little lighter by putting a little yellow over there. If you want it bright, you can keep it bright, but I think it's too bright. because I have yellow on my plate so I why not I can put some of the stuff that I feel needs to be started uh, fixed looks good here looks much better okay now I'm going to use my smaller brush I'm using this one I'm using this one eighth so inches brush Okay, so I'm using this not my number two brush, not that one. So I'm using my number two brush. I'm going to put this area. I'm going to make it be beautifully brighter. So I put yellow here. On the bottom, I'm going to put a little bit orange. The top, a little bit orange. So. brighter I'm going to add a very tiny bit of white in the middle Ooh, that looks really good very bright and now I'm going to put white on the tusk
here. This went over my trunk, so I'm fixing it. Here you go. Looks good. So I put one layer of white. I can still see some redness there. So I'll come back and I'll put another layer of white a little later when it is completely dried. And I will use, I'm taking a very tiny bit of white and I'm going to use that on I so I'm going to do this. I'm going to take off some of my red color from there because that is really mixing up with my white and making it pink look. So when you use your watercolor pencil, you can use lighter shade. So you don't need you don't face this. I'm just taking off a little bit of it because it's coming in my brush. Okay, that looks good. And now I'm going to paint this this part right. And again, I'll do another layer a little later. Now I'm going to do the eye. So I will take my... I'm taking my burnt umber I'm taking a little bit raw sienna Okay, so I'm going to first Put the iris, this, this small eye, dark part of the eye here. That's going to be black later, so just I'm identifying the area for that. Okay, now I'm putting this dark shade on the side here. I'm putting some Draw sienna here. So 
but this part is going to be very dark And this side also is going to be dark. I'm adding a little bit of white. And I'm not making any lighter shade here. You can see I change my direction. I'm just going this way. I took a little bit white and draw sienna. I'm putting it here. good I'm going to give another layer here this side because I, I want that part really very dark and this side too this side is dry so I can try right now Try the dark part here. Yes, it's working now. Here you go. Excellent. Awesome. I really like the eye. Very pretty. And now I'm going to put black shade in the middle. looks good. I'm putting this area also black.
you should really make your sides very smooth that looks that gives your painting a very neat look Good. I'm going to put this part also. I'm going to make this part also black. I once thought one of my students this painting in blue shades that turned out to be very beautiful too very beautiful so you can always do experiments with shades blue also looked very pretty Alright, so I'll make the small the bottom part with the liner brush. Not with that. But I'm going to make the highlights in the eye. So I'm using the back of my brush. And I'm putting one dot here. And one right above this here, making one tiny. And the other one little bigger. Here you go. Okay, that looks pretty. And let me put some white in this area, then I'll come back here. And it's okay if your design go a little different than that. That's fine, because this is just your design on the forehead. So I'm just trying to make it as smooth as I can. Okay, so I'm going to put that design here. And the 
rest of that I'll try with my tiny brush the liner brush because the other details look really thin If your bottom layer is dried, it is easy for you to pick and fix your new layer because once it is dried, it is permanent. You don't need to worry about that part. Okay, so the rest of the design I'm going to do with a liner brush. Okay, so okay, let me just draw some design here. So let me do my first right design. You can pick any random design that is totally fine that that you think that time and you're making whatever design is coming to your mind is good. Okay, looks good. I'm going to make some splashy design here. That looks good. It's always good to go over and give it a uh, another layer looks good now some leaf pattern here i'm gonna make some here I'm going to make some more design here. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm doing some yellow and white mix. So here, let's 
Steven. A line here. Some crow. I'm just giving some random design you don't need to exactly follow what I'm doing you can do your own you can you can make your own if you want so Indian gods are really very beautifully decorated the more you decorate you the beautiful they look okay i think i'm done that looks good to me and i'm going to go over my task and i again to make it look very bright white so I just went over here in the right time my sun is shining on my painting <laughs> making me see every single design or details that I made that looks good and, and the eye I'm trying to give the real time uh, painting idea so that you understand what all uh, you need to follow when you paint. Okay, looks good. All right, looks good. Now I'm going to do the black part, the black uh, details that needs the thinner brush. Okay, so I'm going to make the bottom part of the eye.
Okay, so I think this part I need to fix a little bit. So I'm going to take my small number two flat brush and I'm going to turn it this way. I'm going to make this part a little. I'm just making a little thinner and making the right curve the right way. So you can you can see you can how you can fix your stuff. So I'm making a real time one so that you understand it's not always that you go all the time super perfect. You can make mistake and but you should know that how you have to fix your mistake. Just making it smooth on the bottom. That looks good. I'm putting a little bit white here so that doesn't look wrong. Here we go, it looks good. Okay, so in the eye, I'm going to add a little bit of very tiny bit of um, gray right under the lashes, eyelashes here because there there'll be some shadow of your eyelashes all right here you go the same this side here you go Looks good. Really nice. I'm going to put a liner around that eye too. Oh, turn the other way. Okay, that looks good. Nice, superb. All right, so I'm going to make the liner around the tusks now. Around the tusk here. Here. 
Mm-hmm. That looks good. Nice. Can make it even fatter. Yeah, that looks much better. I'm going to make the other ones too. Fat. Nice. You should always remember to appreciate yourself. The best thing that you started. So you should appreciate yourself for that. And when you're done, you did it. Making it a little thinner. Okay, looks better now. Okay, now I'm going to make a liner around there.
Okay, that looks good. Okay, I'm going to do that on my turban. Taking this bigger brush because the smaller brush is making me it's troubling me. So making the big because I need bigger lines, better line. So yes, that works better. There's my round brush. And this is number six round brush. Holding it again and again, I'm just going to making one line here. Another one here and here. I'm just making sure that I make the line on the back. going to fill this area with black paint and now I'm going to switch back to my round brush uh, my flat brush We just identify the area where you have to have your round trunk and then you can rest of the area you can fill it with black. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit more black for my painting. Okay, so I'm putting black on the side.
little bit on the top. on the bottom putting a little bit just half of it and here we go looks so pretty okay I'm going to put a little bit on the side here making it smooth because it gives really neat look and if you see multiple strokes there just go over and fix that that looks really good now we are going to I'm going to decorate my picture a little bit Just going to go a little bit here. Hmm. And I'm going to put a thin line near every fat line. And you don't need to make it perfect, you just go random. And here. Okay, look for nice okay so now i'm going to put some decoration i'm going to decorate the, the turban make sure that your painting is dry so that if you go over anything it doesn't come on your hand and ruin the painting otherwise it looks really it will really spoil if it is but then you go over that. So I'm making some some small diamonds. You can see my direction is changing. This is the side one, this is this side, this is going to be here, and it's going to be smaller. Mm. 
here. If you want to just practice, you can try on a multi multimedia paper or you can try on a wooden board. This painting, the, this, the divine painting, the God's painting, it really give very beautiful energy to your house. Making a little brighter. That's good. I'm putting a little bit of white in there it is going to give it a better look some random dots here and there there you go looks very pretty <sighs> to balance my picture I'm going to make a small small ornament here on the side so i'm going to put it first with the black so i made a small flower here I'm just making uniform equal size and straight line here. So I'm going to bring it till here. Because in this picture, because in every picture, you need to balance. And the balance is very important. You put everything in the side and nothing in the side. You have to balance your picture by putting something so if the small 
decorating piece hanging from the turban. Okay, I'm not going to leave it just black. So I'm going to add some white dots on that. So in case that if I use the back of my brush, I'm going to use the back of my brush, not the front. My brush is round on the back, so so I'm using that. We can use any cotton ball, uh, cotton swab. That will also work. So you, I'm make, putting it here. As you can see, I'm taking it every time from the paint. So it will come uniform. Some of the part is not dried yet. Nice. And in the middle of that top flower, I'm putting in red. Wow, looks pretty. And I'm putting some red over here. done so you can call it done but i have this uh, uh, gloss finish acrylic paint and that is glitter gold so i'm going to put a little bit of glitter gold on that and that will until dry it will just glitter and I really love some glittery. I'm putting some on the turban. Here. So I'm not going in the wet part. I don't want I don't want to ruin that part. I'm going near the trunk here. So when it will dry, it will be just shiny glitters will be there. I'm going a little bit between that. Here. I 
getting a little bit near the eye. And that's all. Hope you enjoy this tutorial. And if you have any questions, you can message me. And if you want to have more videos like that, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want your friends to watch this video too, so don't forget to share it. Thank you. Have a very good day. Thank you. Bye-bye.